Unused memberships with automatic withdrawals, a fast food solution at dinner, and the impulse buys, you might be shelling out more money than you think. This is going to be a little scary, I think, for some of us. <laughs> we have certified financial planner Michael Neuschwander from Outlook Health Wealth Advisors here with four questions that we have to ask. We're going to do this together to figure out where our money is going. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Nish. Now, this, I think this will be a little interesting. So we have a test for viewers <laughs> and for myself. I don't know the answers. He does. So first up, our first question. How much money does the average person spend on a gym membership? A, $1,000 a year. B, $450 a year. C, $720 a year. I am going to go with C, Michael. Well, you're, you're right. $720 a year is about right. Okay. So it's $60 a month, and, and we always like to bring it up this time of year because, hey, we're two months in. Mm -hmm. So all those New Year's resolutions about going to the gym, it says, hey, if you're still going, probably money well spent. But if not, that $60 is really just going down the drain. So you, you're much better put that towards 401k, paying off debt. You know, get that money back to work for you. Of course, the hope is that you are still <laughs> keeping up with those New Year's resolutions. Yeah. But you're right. I guess if you've already fallen off and you don't have any faith you'll be getting back on it, then maybe you yeah, should. We're getting nice weather, as you yeah, said. Yeah. Go outside. Go outside and do it for free. <laughs> okay, next one. How much money are we spending on dining out? This one could be tricky. A, $1,500 a year. B, $3,000 a year. C, $900 a year. I'm going to make it complicated and say, well, what if it's a family of four versus a single person? Um, let's say A, $1,500 a year. Oh, if only it was that little. <laughs> this is, uh, on average, it's about 3000 bucks wow. a year. So two fifty a month. And so, you know, if you go, uh, again, back to a little exercise, mm -hmm. maybe taking a few extra uh, lunches, maybe skipping the coffee shop on the way in. But, you know, we always encourage people to have that emergency fund of that three to six months of, of savings. So just imagine 3000 bucks just by not yeah. eating out as much wow. goes a long way towards getting that savings goal going. Wow. Gosh, when you look at some of these numbers, you're like, oh no, <laughs> it can't be. It's 20 bucks here, 30 bucks there, but it really adds oh, up. Yeah. So next, how much money is going toward underused subscriptions? This could be a biggie. A, $237 a month. That's a very specific number, Michael. I think that might be right. <laughs> B, $550 a month. C, $80 a month. Is it A? Yeah, a little too specific there, <laughs> A little right? too specific. So, that one threw no, me. But when most people think of uh, subscriptions, they think, you know, back in the day, magazines. Mm -hmm. But, you know, today there's a subscription for everything. You know, the apps on your phone, you, you cut the cord, but now you have three different services right. instead. Uh, now you can even set up where they'll uh, send you the clothes automatically every month. You don't even have to do anything. And if you're using them, great. But for a lot of us, those little five or ten dollars a month, they add up, and we have no clue that it's almost yeah. 250 bucks a year. Oh my gosh! Now this one, oh, <laughs> how much money are we spending on impulse buys in our lifetime, Michael? Yeah, it's gonna that's hurt a, my heart. That's a scary a, one hundred fifty thousand dollars lifetime, guys, lifetime. B, three hundred thousand dollars, or C, five hundred thousand dollars. What do you think? Tell me it's a hundred fifty thousand, Michael. Tell me it's A. Oh, <laughs> it's the three hundred thousand yeah, dollars. So, oh, you know, that. Fox hurt. Business actually did the study, and they say oh. on average people have an impulse buy about three times a week, and so oh. three hundred thousand. That, that's a house. That that's is. retiring several years earlier. And so the best tips on how to avoid that this year is either one, at least shop around. Mm -hmm. you know, just because it has a sale sign doesn't mean it's actually a good deal. Yeah. Uh, two, sleep on it if you can. And then most importantly, if you have a significant other, run those past them. Yeah. Make sure you're on the, on the same page first. Well, Michael, this segment has kind of depressed me a little bit. So we're just going to send it on over to Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank being you. here, though.